Next talk is by Holger, one of three regional contacts of, for Burning Man. And together with Helga, he works for Berlin Burner and will tell us about events from Burning Man. If you have any questions, please put them in the IRC channel or use Twitter or Mastrodon and use the hashtag ChaosZone. And we will answer questions at the end of this talk. Have a great talk. Hello. And thank you for listening for the, to the German translation made by Attila E. and me, Franz T. Hello. Um, we are working with Burning or at Burning Man for a while now. And I wanted to talk about events because we are on an event here. And Burning Man? Yes. Uh, what is Burning Man? Burning Man. I know Burning Man since I was 35. Congress. I know since age 16. But burning the culture of Burning Man involved me more and filled my my whole private life, part of family. Do you also want to say something? It led to me involving my wife. So, um, uh, guideline, what are we talking about? First of all, those who do not know Burning Man or what's special about Burning Man, um, we have a small introduction to move from the large picture to the small details and if I'm interested in that and if I want to create events like that, what can I think about? And if we had a live, live audience, I would love to know how that is realized with camp and Congress, because I think there are similar structures here and there. And the all the nonprofit organizations, the Vereine is something we can learn from one another. So first of all, what's Burning Man? It's a festival with a lot of people, uh, 78,000 people uh, at the last real one during the pandemic. It happened digitally. It's about culture and community. It was created in San Francisco on the beach as a small event, and it grew and grew, had to move away from San Francisco because 1,500 people were too many for the police, especially when they had fire around, and then they moved to the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, uh, six hours away from San Fran. And, um, in, in the beginning, it, it started from the counterculture from Silicon Valley because it's not that far away and many, many people were looking for opportunities to be creative and, and they are you have ideas about custom uh, clothing and music and large parties, but also small life stages and a lot of um, art you can interact with or you should interact with. Um, um, but on the other hand, Burning Man is uh, even more. First of all, it's a temporary city with, with a lot of art pieces that the event itself takes a week, but tear building or tear down a three to four weeks before and after. And the end, the complete town needs to be gone. It's a protected area, and it needs to be to look exactly afterwards as it does before. But it also is part of the startup scenes of the West Coast, and that's something we were looking into here in Berlin together with the sea base the hackerspace in Berlin, uh, but 
uh, we are looking in, in a long-term perspective and we, we want to have it CO2 neutral. Many people need to travel there. We burn a lot, a lot of things and that's, that's a starting to become a problem with the climate change and the diversity in it, the U.S. is something that's a focus. The, there are very few people from an Asian background or from uh, or people of color are very few there. Many people think about it all year long, how, what they can do there, how it will be, what they can prepare after the Burning Man is before the Burning Man, and but also in their in their area, they think about with whom can they work together and what can they create. Uh, leave no trace is an important point. Um, the desert is biologically dead, but in the end it should look exactly like it did before, and the government looks at it, 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 everything is clean, thousands of volunteers go through it with a comb. Um, next is no advertisement, there is nothing to buy there, and DJs might be flied in by, play in, if, by, by the camps, but they also mustn't advertise by being there, otherwise they are not allowed to come back. Burning Man is very strict about it because uh, in the capitalistic society it's you always have to work against people who, who who try to use it as a capitalism with capitalism that's quite easy with in the music area whoever the main part is that everything that happens there should should lead to people to work together to be in contact with each other and the camps that people think about, everything that people bring there, they do that not for themselves, but they do so to get an experience with others. And exactly the same with the art pieces, they are interactive, so you can't just look at it and say, oh, that's nice, but some things only work by people being around, by people touching it, that by climbing on it. and. Yeah, interesting to me at least, it is not the art term for which is for paying. You don't, the, in every performance in the theater or every piece, is the question how many tickets can we sell or can we have a good turnover with the money of the sale of the art project. But for Burning Man, we try to we we try that that's different. If you have an idea, you who can work with others to express that idea, to express it as good as possible. And it's not something you can put on a wall, hang, hang on a wall. But yes, there are a lot of, of wood structures, and they are just burned down. And that's an uh, attractive way to be creative. What can I do? What what experience do I have? How can I work with others? And then it's okay when it's, it's done. You don't have to keep it. Um, it's two hours away from the closest town. Usually it's hard to get there and hard to get come back. Uh, there is our only toilets and streets from the organizers, but if you need power or water or used water and everything is you have to bring yourself if you it's like going anywhere in the desert there's no infrastructure you need to bring everything and something that also happens uh, especially in the beginning it's on public ground and it's on federal land and the police is not outside but on the event Usually there are 200, 200 policemen on there. It's a freedom that's unknown to the United States, but it's still con checked by the police. But there are 200 policemen and uh, are many more uh, attendees. And I have never seen a policeman or I had never contact with a policeman, but there are police cars driving around. Um, 
a couple of additional examples. The image on the left is is from coming from the generator. It's a large makerspace in Reno. Um, it's the old version, but because they had to move some time ago, and they have a new space again in Reno, and some large-scale projects for people who are, don't happen to have a space in San Francisco, they have a great space. It's a great space ne close to the area where Burning Man happens. It's, and you can build large art, art projects there. And there is the request within the culture to create art or be art. That's uh, part of the image on the top right. And yeah, to, it's the idea to be to to look different, to express yourself optically in a different way. And on the uh, right area, the sonic driveway, it's dark in the desert at night and light is important and we have more and more uh, LED art structures and many people light up their bicycles and there is also some critique sometimes because it looks very between uh, having changing your bike, designing your bike, and having a great-looking bike, is there are different. There are diff yeah, there are differences. Back to the first picture. This is Burning Bang, like what it looks like normally. This year, it didn't take place, but. People and the numbers is between 1,500. Uh, they uh, individually organized themselves through Google Maps and they did something similar. It, it's, it was called the Renegade Burn. Originally, Burning Man was a independent uh, union of people and only through departments and also catastrophe that have ha happened. It uh, found certain rules that are certain relevant today, and those are uh, annoying for people who love freedom. So this is really interesting. What is going to look like next year? What, which elements uh, are which conclusions are going to be drawn? But usually in the city, in this three-quarter uh, circle, that's where the events take place. They make the stages right next to their tents, not just uh, uh, far away. In the open area, in the center, but also on the left side, that's where the art pieces are put up. They have far away from each other. They have a lot of space. There's lots of events, 350 art pieces. You can only experience a small part of it, which is pretty sad, but it's also really interesting because it's a very individual experience. This whole thing is based on the 10 principles. We're going to the border, uh, we're getting to the limits of the uh, to expand of expansion to put the culture into the world the founders have sit down and uh, formulated some of these some of them are more important some of them are less for an event they're open for everyone that's the first point it references uh, even strangers are welcome uh, those that are for, there for the first time sometimes there's space issues uh, you can only give out a certain number of tickets. Uh, gifting is a very important principle. Everyone is, brings along what they need and also other things uh, to be safe, but they can also lend things to others. There's dozens of bars that are run with gifted alcohols that are given by the people. So if someone doesn't want to open a, a bar, they can take 
the a bottle along and, and uh, hand it in. And as for alcohol drinking people, also the co modification, deco modification, this is a, a, diff, a strange term. It's not about giving something a price tag to make it uh, your own and not to have some advertisement and also for this event it, in a commercial uh, context i wouldn't want to do this presentation but now here in terms of the congress out of my point of view it makes sense uh, self-determination self-responsibility not to be dependent on others you can't buy anything there so you need to bring your stuff along so to survive for real all of these things we're doing those at our own events as well uh, some of them or at least uh, almost all of them so we want to make give this impression to the world we want to show what we want to show you can just run around it's fine but you can also see what a strange person what costume people are behind and uh, you have to see what you share so that you don't uh, overstep and disturb others uh, common working together a lot of things are to get done together all of those workshops the things that exist a lot of things are done and to last the community work through the entire year. Responsibility for the people that are around you, but also for your neighbors, especially when it's about music, at least uh, in very well, uh, densely populated Germany. If you do a lot of, uh, with music, don't leave a trace. Uh, we talked already about this. Maybe you should even leave it cleaner than you met it, uh, than you found it. We also cleaned it with big uh, magnets. It was full of screws and other metal pieces. Uh, some of them, during the event, we uh, we managed to dispose of them. Actively take parts. Don't let others uh, do your job. Independence. The more you're involved, don't retract uh, behind some barriers, uh, behind your phone, don't hide. You can't uh, catch up on the things that you miss. It's just happening in the moment. You can't uh, experience them later. Now, once again, a couple of pictures to art pieces and also uh, self-made things. They can be very small, like uh, on the top right and corner. What's there is uh, you only notice what's there if you op actually open the suitcase there. And on the right, you can see what a camp, what they did as a bar or as a workshop space. They put together this. What's also interesting to fi is to find out how can you do things that so that they so that people have an experience that they haven't uh, experience uh, that they haven't expected before. There's also a book that I want to think is very interesting in this context out of the philosophic uh, Benjamin Wax. Uh, I don't know the, its name. It's it's going to be on, on the link list. Turn your life into art, and it's also about interesting. Uh, decoration is the for one thing, but for the whole, out of the theatric uh, elements, you can make something that people say, "Wow, this is something I didn't even expect." This really blew me away. I think this is very well expressed in the book. I didn't read it to the, all the way to the end, but as far as I've read it, I had this feeling there's a lot in there about uh, events, whether that's camp, an assembly, or a whole event. You can really take away a lot from it. Now, an exp example that we did, 
This is an art project by the German Berner community in 2016. The German Guild it's an elaborated rule. The the Americans love regional things. We did it as 25 people. It's an official project. We received a promotion and also donations through our uh, community. We did a lot of things. We sat together for months. We prepared decoration. We discussed this uh, signs. We built the furniture at the scene. We prepared them out of wood. So there's some. There was some support from some of our artists. They did it. They did uh, with a laser cut. Uh, they cut uh, signs. Well, what was the topic of this project? Just to say, so that Germans, we did a workshop, we drew a number and we, and we made a new word for a new rule. So for example, always weird stuff and people have uh, ruled the dice and we stamped them in fractured Frakurschrift and the they stamp they stamped that on laser cutted parts of uh, folders and uh, and other things from cardboard and in the end they moved to a judge and they 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 were confirmed that they did everything in the proper way so it was it was a lot of fun to play with that. We had large dice and small dice, and we had a lot of rules, but they were supposed to be broken or surround. Uh, people wore robes, but uh, they were from a different type of fabric than usually, so it was very interesting and had a lot of fun. So let's move to the central subject of it um regional network what that's the beginning of, of of burning man and i'm part of it there are around 250 area, regional areas in uh, around the world there are sometimes a lot of those are in the us but there are four five from germany and because Burning Man cannot grow anymore, because everybody has to move in through a two-lane road, and we noticed quite early how can we transport everything. And people there were inspired there, moved it into the air, their, their area, and brought it back home and tried to create something new. And first of all, organizing to move there, but the movement in Europe is quite large. We have a conference once a year for all the local contacts and everybody who takes care of something comes together. And the first of those conferences happened in the sea base. And that's where I got to meet the sea base. There are larger events. Um, sometime, some in Spain uh, with 2,300 borderlands in Scandinavia uh, for similar size and in most areas of, of Europe and also some other parts, um, for example, the Africa Burn in South Africa or Crimbule in France, uh, Schönbern and Imaginarium in uh, Czech Republic where the sleeps sheep sleep in the Netherlands and afterwards or in between there are uh, party events for one night so decompression events in London and Amsterdam and some other some other spaces there are a lot of things you can participate without having to fly there and within Germany we have in the last uh, once the kids burn, uh, they do their, they have their own fine. Thousand people participated this year. Uh, we, they tested daily. 
Hamburg, uh, from Hamburg, the burning bear. It's a nicht ein Ausreißer, aber es findet im, äh, im Winter statt. It's in the winter and similar to Hamburg, it's the winter events are usually they they are catering. There is a central food participation because you can't have a lot of people just cooking on their own and with a camping cooker in front of their tents. And we don't want people to be outside in January because you don't know the weather and if it, the weather is bad and you are responsible for the for the participants. And perhaps in the there is a new event close to Leipzig, and we are trying to prepare for that. Um, so what else can be done? Um, Tamua, if, if you are interested in it, what can you cre do to create something like that? Uh, people who are participant in chaos organization events, they they know about it and they, <laughs> they are about to start sleeping now. They would do the same, start with a local meeting. We are meeting until 2013 and we are in in pubs and once a month we had some spaghetti eating at somebody's place and nachmittage wo man there are afternoons afternoons where you can work with electronics and, and mostly fabric and build things that are helpful in such areas or just improve stuff um, prepare customs for next stage. You know, you start in, in small and see what, what ideas grow out of it. You start in a small, and especially in, if you are in an area where there is no strong uh, community, you sometimes have to bring your own idea because small events well, sometimes just one or two people arrive, and sometimes no one arrives. But in my opinion, usually that helps, it, or it helps to have it regularly, that people know if it's Wednesday afternoon. So one option where we can go now is to go to the Burner meetup. And it's also great if you go to existing events and take organization events, perhaps in one area or in the central orga, because that, that way you get to know people internationally and that is really helpful to to create these structures or to get to know all the structures. I know happen to know that one of the people uh, from Kitzburn he started at nowhere where he participated in the camp and took those ideas and brought it to 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 Europe to 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 Berlin where he wanted to create an own his own event if you bring people together for long enough you there's a critical mass and people trust each other in that in that community they know each other and like each other and that helps or simplifies the the starting of your own projects, your own meeting and your own events. And it's always important that you have a good time yourself. You probably will learn things you wouldn't have learned otherwise. Uh, uh, um, and I missed some thing here. Sometimes you also leave your personal comfort zone and you start heavy, holding presentations. And me, as, uh, uh, it's a long way I have moved through the time. And something you have to remember and it's uh, quite, uh, quite interesting. We don't do this for money, even without the uh, traveling payments. You have to bring a lot of ideas. Uh, ideas and uh, interest and uh, of course time if you fight for your existence it's quite probably quite hard but if you have the opportunity to do stuff um, uh, then you can 
das halt auch eignen. Nur die that, that, that's a great option. The large events, Nowhere or Africa Burn, they usually have a paid core crew because 3,500 person event is something you can't do completely voluntarily or only with volunteer people. How do you get there if you want to create your own event? Um, we noticed the organizational structures, ideally a Verein, where possible uh, non-profit organization, you should prepare that in, in advance, even if the event itself isn't that, that concrete. To create an event takes some time, especially now and when you discuss how to how to write the rules and with the uh, and all the regulations that exist, especially in Germany, you have to learn that, and you should prepare that long in advance and get uh, the appropriate courses online and, and talk with people who know about it. And it took more than two years for us until, but one year in between, uh, it's uh, we did nothing because we were uninterested. In it and all this organization stuff, but it was very helpful afterwards. So you have to think about it and keep in mind on time. An event like Keatsburn takes half a year uh, for the, fir the first time, probably longer. So plan, plan ahead. Next step is to find a location. Where do you do that? Uh, how large do you expect it to be or how large do you trust it, yourself to create it? And where is space to do so? Uh, we have a cloister, for example. We have buildings we can use, and so we are independent of the weather. But on the other hand, there are some decisions taken away by the, by the location. On the other hand, Keatsburn, it's also used by uh, using an area called Freiland, and it's a former gravel digging area, and it's green, and some lakes, and some hills, and so on. And it's a completely different event. The less there is, the more people can bring, but the more freedoms you have. Uh, you know, I have to think about neighbors and so on, but and there are different ways to create a team or the organizational team. Uh, Burning Bear, for example, we have a fixed team that fits in a living room with 15 people and there were different small changes in the preparation for each team. The next time some did one thing instead of the other, sometimes organizing the volunteers, the next time, uh, for example, transportation. Und, uh, bei Kitzburn zum Beispiel, die, die gehen da ganz With Kitzburn, they have different subjects. That's a large team. You can't get them together that easily. You have to figure out how to how to find a space to meet to discuss. You need to do that three or four times in ahead. Usually, the rest is online, but. Dafür hat man aber auch mehr Möglichkeiten, wenn jemand On the other hand, there are more opportunities. If somebody can't participate, somebody else can just take over. Communication is immer ein Communication is always a big problem actually because the burner community is not very diverse talking about the some are from the computer science community, some are artists. So it's very diverse, and all those combinations in between. And if you have a new tool, or you once again have a, a new app, and we have to find out how this works. So communication is internally, as well as to the outside, doesn't matter which way you choose. It's, at least for us, it was a challenge. Promotion of art and uh, good funding is very important. If you don't do it properly, you have problems for years. Uh, we can say uh, this from our own experience. 
this is why it's good to do this beforehand ideally you have someone who already knows a lot about that has a lot of experience all right yeah now generally what uh, makes burn special it's very you have interesting experiences with others you have this uh, uh, you have this expression you don't know where, where, where which bush the rabbit will come out of you can't have too many expectations otherwise they uh, will probably you will be let down but other things might be interesting anyhow and you don't have to change yourself you have a week uh, four days of time you don't have a lot of responsibilities otherwise other than the organizational things you've agreed to but otherwise you can go without any structure with a, and just simply experiment and usually the this these opportunities are rare these days uh, if you're above 30 at least it helps uh, mentally to be spontaneous if you have, you have an even path, if you have a single path, then uh, it, it's going to get really hard because you won't notice the things around it. There's a lot of people, you have a base trust, even if you don't know them beforehand, especially with Burning Man, this is really in extreme. A lot of people go out and they uh, do these uh, none of the us are there by default there's a connection a bridge to others to other people i think at the summer camp this will be probably similar even at the congress uh, talking about this program exactly you can try things you can make mistakes even if you organize something, you can make mistakes. Uh, then we'll see together how we can fix them. And for me, what's very interesting, what I've noticed, a space that gives people this opportunity to make these experiences, or generally experiences that they usually wouldn't have had. I think this is very interesting. Generally, you have a lot of time, you use a lot of time, even if what you can see on this picture, the lemon camp that we built, we were, we had to do with it for three months to do the decoration, to sit together with the people. You can also see maybe what we mean by camp. We camped around uh, it, we've cooked together, we have done a performance for all other participants of the Keats Burn, and in the evening we get together and sit together if you are not uh, occupied otherwise, and uh, to be a part of it together. And this camp for a week, and depending on how long this event uh, lasts, is a room to live in. I'm not sure I understand. A couple of aspects, for example, at Keatsburn, they have the model that is called consensual democracy. It's about who sees something, that where do you have to do something, and they can decide it on their own what they want to do if they see something that they have to do. They gather a lot of input by others what uh, they could be what uh, they could know about it and then there's a process and at borderlands it's really big i've also done this before and through the tool uh, this rumio tool that we use for communication especially uh, for organization internally that we make a re request a formal request I don't know the exact term, but it's a little bit like a forum with special tools. It's similar to democracy, a little bit, at least in this context, I looked at it. If you have a larger group, it's, it can be uh, uh, used very well. 
toward the outside we communicate with uh, newsletters facebook channels the central organization uh, focuses on the most important things on the essential things because the others uh, if they want to have something, they need to bring it along. Uh, ideally, even the water and the electricity. But um, usually, this is uh, also centrally organized. But some things are just needed, security and stuff. And um, tickets are with burnertickets.com. There's a group in London that are specialized towards this. But there's other solutions, printings that I've seen, uh, several other commercial uh, providers. Orga is also doing tickets. There are low income tickets. As if something one doesn't have a lot of money in Orga, they can get a low, they can apply for a low t income ticket. Part of the money, part of the funds are also uh, split between the projects there. We usually don't buy things that we can't do on our own. As, except for security, first aid that are, are required by law. If electricity is not organized uh, centrally, if no one wants to, and no one wants to be responsible, then there's no electricity. Then things happen the way they are. Uh, we need to see how we uh, manage. If there's no electricity, people have to bring it on their own. Now a small overview later, you might see it better in the slides, things that are interesting. I don't, I don't know if you can read it in the stream, but on the left side, the communication timeline with different steps, when do you send this newsletter, how often will we meet, what things do need to be decided at a certain time, uh, things uh, like insurance and things that are essential in the middle you can see the structure of the funding of the budget what how we used it there's also things like the gema in germany or I, I even i can't read it now but first aid and all these things have to be paid for electricity and water has to be paid for according to usage as well as the infrastructure for it and also on the right side once again from the burning bear around the kids burn we've looked at it with the tax advisor it's really good if we can see someone who does the tax uh, taxes for us or the organization but they can from the diversity of things put it in a way so that the tax authorities can see that it is uh, right and well uh, let's get to the next slide um, i want to do some other aspects what we have at, at last, uh, like you see it here for example at the car studio a place where people can get together that they, we also done that in Berlin with the Berner MBC. This has uh, challenges like you can't just go there for a week and get along, but also for longer. This is a challenge, especially we have in a house of statistics at the Alexanderplatz. We've had uh, burglary things because uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of things going on during lockdown and we've also uh, we rarely have this at an event these challenges these difficulties and if you have this you can also think about this we started this club or the society for the event but this society can also do more for the society for people who are not part of the burner society and you can think about how you work other, uh, together with other groups to do more good at last and not just for the community but also for the society at large. I know other organizations that are very well uh, put together to find easy, it's defined funding easily. I'm not an expert. If you decommodize, you don't want to do advertisement, it's really difficult to get a promotion, to get funding. It's a special problem for Burning Man. 
it's a challenge. It's you can see on the picture uh, an earlier stage where how it what it uh, how the burner embassy looked like. It's really cold at the moment because the house of statistics above us is being demolished above us and or are emptied and especially with lockdown it's not nice with conflicts within the community we have to know how to deal with that and also let others do it and just simply accept that if others do it differently just let them and allow and sometimes uh, it is difficult, it's challenging, but it also can also be very helpful to learn that. And also, uh, with that, I'd be at the end what we wanted to talk about now, some links about different aspects. And yes, our contact information at the bottom, all at berlinburner.de or Helga at berlinburner.de if you have questions or if you have uh, questions beyond what you could ask here. Uh, Tisa, now uh, after 8 till 10, we have a video conference uh, about a weekly meeting online. You can find it, also find it uh, through berlinburner.de. Yeah, so, so much for that. Thank you. Yeah, that's been really interesting. We just have uh, one question from the internet. <laughs> ah, that's actually a good sign. I found this was very interesting. Uh, what event is close to Leipzig and how do we get into contact with the organizational people? Yes, uh, we are planning it short before Christmas. We t started to teaser that we want to do something and to uh, advertise the date. It's around the 23rd of July, the weekend, and uh, we expect around 200 people. We have buildings and just contact us, and we are trying to create the team and create a mailing list to ensure that everybody can get the information of what's to happen. First of all, we do New Year's and uh, New Year's Eve, and we have finished, or we've done location scouting last summer. We visited the place. We looked into what's possible. How large can we do something? How large can we organize as an organizational team? Uh, the experience we had in the recent years, and how can we yeah, realize that? And but we also learned a lot from other groups, and if we have to look at which parts of Keatsburn's decision-making process is, can we take over? Um, that's something I learned at the Berner Embassy. We use the same communication team system. But at this space, we have 40 interesting active participants in the beginning. And if you have a forum where people only get information via email, you don't get a discussion because people aren't used to wait a day to get an answer. Uh, so we added a Telegram group, and that's better. But Suddenly, everything is intransparent because people who ca arrive later don't get all the information. And yeah, communication is an uh, is an issue we have not yet solved. But we are collecting people who are interested and who want to participate, want to participate from the beginning. Usually, the events have no tickets at the event. The closer you are on the organizational event of the event, the more probable is the is that you can get a ticket. Of course, it shouldn't end once you have the ticket. But if if you are just from the outside and just want to participate shortly before the ticket for the event, it's it's quite difficult for a burn. It's usually it doesn't work. And that's something Burning Man itself has learned 
It's still sold quickly. It's hard to get a ticket, and they also have special provisions for the community. Where you can keep your eyes open whether there's a ticket that comes along, and you can perhaps buy it at a later point. There are parallels to the chaos where the Engel system is. Uh, where we have hours, or we collect hours and perhaps get a t-shirt, but if you did a lot, you can also help at the next event. So there are interesting parallels everywhere. Yes, I know the same the other way around, because I was participate, participating in, in the Congress, usually it did not work through the last years. Usually the, the event happened, and I wasn't there because I'm not an active part of the community was that way I would have noticed it. If you're only interested in the event without the community and it's quite hard to 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 become part of the community. So if you only want to become a part of the community on the event it's quite hard. I was on a live congress uh, two years ago, and it was a lot of work, but it was very helpful to have the chaos meeting of Potsdam, where I knew some people who can take you there to places, and there's these huge holes everywhere, and everything is dark or, or flashing or bright. and. It's probably quite hard, quite a bit harder, and that's a question from me. Um, a lot of people are. How do you protect yourself to not run around and for three days and don't drink enough? We have these six, three, one rule: six hours of sleeping, three times eating, and a shower per day. Um, Yes, we have similar rules. Um, every event has a guide and a survival guide, and they say similar things. In Spain, especially uh, in the Black Rock Desert, you have to have to work with the heat and the day, and the, 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 the if you have. Uh, if you have a ba uh, and and some some basic rules that people have collected through the time and. Yes, and I. Here we have so many many issues that way. People want come there and have a, want to do a lot of things. If you have a book with the, uh, a book like this, and you look at it before you arrive and you decide what you want to do, and then you suddenly learn that mm, by experience that. That's on the other side of the city, so I have to need at least half an hour if it happens at all. And perhaps I get there and it doesn't, it takes an hour longer or doesn't happen at all. So new people run around, run around potential experience, but miss the experience in front of the door. And yeah, we can just don't, don't, don't plan too much. And people who do the orga and still want to participate a lot, that's not very, that's, that's quite very hard. Especially if you have, are working it for months and usually even the orga people are just overworked. So people usually do it once or thrice or move around in the, the orga team. Yeah, I think we all know that issue. The showering at Burning Man is a different problem because you have to bring your own water for showering and you have to collect your used water. In my first year at Burning Man, I did not shower for those seven days. So it's like Wacken. No, it's moist papers and there are a couple of camps where they are events where you can get clean. There is a, a, a dome 
with foam and 30 people at once are covered in foam and then with water and then it's done. Interesting, you have to queue for a long time before it's done, but there are such opportunities, but it's presence, it's activities that are that are provided by people in the situation, people who have were able to collect sufficient money to ha have all the material necessary. And you have to move everything into the desert. I don't think that there are more questions from the internet, so I, I have another question. How often did you visit Burning Man? I was there once, but on a number of different European events. And for Burning Man itself, I was seven times. At, and all the European events together with Helga and my daughter and some, my son. And the last time he moved there on him by himself, and he did not take me with him. So, it's also easier in a financial manner if you go to the local places, you have to get a ticket, you have to fly there, and if you really want to go cheaply, you still have 1,500 euros you have to pay, and then you're very cheap. It doesn't have to be much more expensive, you can go there with a... Uh, 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 track, but if you go with the bare necessities, you can get there cheap, more cheaply. But for Kitzburn, you huh, take two hours with the train or with the by, by, with the car, and you just have to come get there by from the train station. And the participant price is cheaper. And if you can organize everything to camp, you can do so quite cheaply. Can participate cheaply, and it's more reachable for many people. And, and that's something I learned. I come from the large Burning Man, this huge event, and I first time I go went to a Austrian Burning event. Um, and in the beginning of the week, there were ten people there, and. The peak, 35 people, and I was there for the complete week. And because you meet each other again and again, and Burning Man is a large town, you don't see a person again if you don't look for it. Um, you always did something together. You did workshops, uh, you participated with your own project, and it the end of the week, it's quite as hard to move away from burning man, from the large burning man. You have to to have a week without without external uh, uh, yeah, it's a present, and it's quite hard to go away. And with the right people, it works on all levels. So you don't have to go to Burning Man to experience this culture. But, and so it's important to increase this culture and to have more small events in your own areas. 200 people, perhaps. Um, another question from the internet um, about the smaller events. Um, leave no traces is something that happens it's, it's different than, than long-term planning. Um, I don't get the question in its entirety, sustainability, the question. If you are, look at Burning Man itself, all, if all the European Burning Man participants fly there, yeah, there are sustainability issues. So small regional burns are more sustainable. And a lot of things I know from the small, a few camp, usually you just do it once, but over several years on the same event and you refresh everything and create new stuff. And yeah, there are structures that grow, that everybody can, that all the material is there, but you don't have to buy everything each time. and. If there are art projects, it already takes care that 
what material is used, whether it can be reused, and it's always a question of how to work around material or with material. But everything is on its own. There are no there are no requirements on what has to be done specifically. But every group sh on every every event organized and every group of the in the event should think about it. But especially from the Berlin scene, we try to have to reuse the things as well as possible, not just use them once and throw away. And we have to get to an end. To become more and more sustainable. Thanks for your attention. If you have other questions from the internet, you can uh, get in touch with themselves. by This talk has been translated by Franz T. and Attila. If you have any feedback, you can contact us on Twitter or Mastodon using the hashtag C3Lingo.